Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video and today we're taking a look at the AI Life e-bike. In this video, you're going to get my complete review after using this e-bike for several weeks. Let's jump right in. So first things first, I love the styling of this e-bike. Just looking at the bike itself, it, very, it really looks like motorcycle-esque and I really like how the seat looks and how it kind of tails up near the back end. I do like the oversized front LED headlight, which has a low and a high setting on this thing. I mean, really the fat tires, the bike, everything on it looks incredible. Now, I will say that for me, my height does not work with how close the seat is to these pedals, but I'll get more into that later. Let's start by going over some of the controls. So on this left hand side, you do have these elongated hand grips, which I think are really nice to rest your palm down and definitely make it more comfortable. You have a front brake here, and then you have your controls for the e-bike. So here you do actually have turn signals, as well as a high and low setting on your front headlight. And right underneath that is a little horn. Moving over to this control here, this is your power button and your plus and minus. So that goes up to power assist, pedal assist, uh, up to five levels of pedal assist. Standard display here, black and white. I wasn't able to figure out how to get it out of kilometers, so just keep that in mind. I also didn't spend much time figuring out how to get it out of kilometers. Over here on the right hand side, another elongated hand grip with a twist throttle that does work from zero. Standard shifter here and your rear brake. Something I forgot to mention in the other part of the video, these are actually flipped. So these are incorrect, at least for the US. This is the rear brake over here on the left-hand side, and this is the front brake. So just keep that in mind. It's an easy swap with these uh, little nuts right here. You can take them off and swap them. Very easy fix, but I just wanted to say that from the factory, this was shipped like this with the uh, rear brake over here on the left-hand side and the front brake over here on the right hand side, which is opposite for the US. Most are front right, front left and uh, rear right. I love the styling. I love how it's like open tube metal framing. I they did do a slightly better job here in the rear cleaning up these cords. You can see that they use this little wrap over the cords going to the rear tail light. Now both front and rear fenders do come standard on this and it is seven gears in the rear and a single in the front. This is also a dual suspension. You can see the front fork with the rear suspension right here in the middle makes it for a really comfortable ride. You can see that I'm about six foot one, 200 pounds. It's comfortable to ride, but don't expect to be pedaling comfortably. These pedals are way too close to the seat to be comfortable, unless you are much shorter than I am. Overall, this thing packs a huge punch. If you're gonna use this for a commuter, this is an excellent commuter, but don't expect to be pedaling comfortably. Make sure you keep this thing charged up so you can just use the throttle because pedaling this thing is really uncomfortable. But the extra power that you get from this motor, and believe me, this, this has a ton of juice to get you up any sort of incline, makes up for the inconvenience or how uncomfortable it is to pedal this particular e-bike. Overall, I'm really impressed, and this works for somebody if you have like a trail that you're gonna to commute to work with, or if you need an e-bike that can go a fair distance, 
that is relatively comfortable. All right, there you have it. That's my full review of the Z-Bike. If you wanna pick up one of these, click the affiliate link right below the like button. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.